Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me for today's video. So somehow another month has flown by. My bin is yet again full. Um, I will link in the description box below my October 2021 Home Fragrance Empties Part 1. This is Part 2. So this is the what I got through at the end of October, the last half of October. And there's a few things in here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it, guys. Okay. I finally finished a box of 12 scented tea lights from Yankee and the scent Sugared Apple. This is very old. Um, it looks like it came from Home Sense. This was actually part of a Christmas gift um, from my sister to me. I want to say at least five years ago. I'm looking for a date as if there's going to be a date, but there isn't one. Oh, this scent. This is like apple. I almost get like a vanilla. I don't have the scent notes for this, I'm sorry. And I don't even know if Yankee still does sugared apple, but if they do, I do suggest it. It is a friggin' beautiful apple fragrance. It's almost a perfumey apple, which I hate saying that because that turns me off just saying that, <laughs> but it is in a good way. So um, I've been plugging away at these over the years. To be perfectly honest, I had these stored in a place where I don't have other home fragrance. So I think I just kept forgetting about it. And then every time I would see it, I would grab a couple because I enjoy this scent. And then I would burn like three at a time so that I could actually smell them. But um, I would absolutely repurchase this scent in something else, uh, a large jar or a milk cup or something, if that was an option. Like I said, I don't know if it would be. Um, the only other candle in here is one of my beloved all-time faves from BBW, Marshmallow Fireside. I didn't think this one had scent notes, no, because this one's a few years old. Um, this is from 2019, it looks like. Um, I bought a ton of this candle in this packaging because the year before, I only purchased one Marshmallow Fireside and I quickly realized that it is one of my all-time favorite scents and I don't wanna be without it. So when I went to get more, my store was still, my store was sold out until the following year. They never had it again. So the following fall, so fall 2019, I bought a ton of these and I've been plugging away at them. Um, I chopped one up and melted it. That one I finished a while back. Um, if you'll remember, it was in an empties. And then this one I obviously burned. I think I have one left in this packaging. So let's talk performance. You'll notice no soot, <sighs> but these wicks were drowning so bad that I did have to dump wax out, which I absolutely hate doing because when I dump hot wax or, you know, cotton ball, whatever, um, out of a burning candle or a candle that's been burned, which that's when you would dump wax out, um, it does have that burnt candle smell. So at one point I used to, if I had a candle like this, you know, drowning wicks, it was going to self extinguish if I didn't intervene, I would dump some wax into a warmer so that I could enjoy the wax because what a friggin' waste to be throwing out scented wax. But the thing is, it's not a pure scent at that point. It's not a clean scent anymore. It's a burnt scent. So I don't do that anymore. If I absolutely have to dump out some wax, which lately I pretty much have to do with every BBW candle, um, I try to just dump out as little as possible to try to save as much as I can. Um, yeah, the thing is, even when the wicks were drowning and they were barely, barely, barely lit, I could still smell the candle. So I did wait as long as I possibly could to dump out wax. And I did only dump it out one time, which isn't a ton of wax waste, but it was enough that I just feel like that stuff shouldn't be happening. But anyway, scent was great. Strength and throw was awesome. Other than the drowning wicks. <laughs> Other than the drowning wicks, it was a great candle. <laughs> what I repurchase, I obviously already have. If you guys saw my recent um, candle haul, I did grab another 
newer packaging in this because like I said, I don't ever wanna be without the scent. Lucky for me, Scentsy now has toasted marshmallow and I have that in my club. I believe it's still in my club. I hope it is. Um, so if I did ever run out of the candle, if the candles keep performing like shit, like this, um, I will always have the wax from Scentsy. So I will be a-okay. I finished up a bathroom cleaner um, in Squeeze the Day. This, I, I wouldn't probably have purchased this. Um, I do enjoy the bathroom cleaner, don't get me wrong. I don't know that I would have purchased it in Squeeze the Day. I mean, I enjoyed it, but um, that product came in a whiff box. I wanna say this past spring or summer. So I've been using it here and there and it's it's definitely empty. I do enjoy the bathroom cleaner. I like that it foams up. I feel like it. It, it sort of attacks soap scum better because it foams up. Um, so no complaints there. I just, like most Scentsy products, I just find them so crazy overpriced that it's a treat for me to get a bathroom cleaner and I usually won't pay full price. So that's that. Okay, um, car fragrance. <laughs> Guys, I'm really getting frustrated with using Scentsy products in my car. So um, some of you might recall that my mini fan, I don't know what they're called. Every time I talk about this, I can't think of the name of them. Anyway, the little USB plug-in for the Scentsy pods, I had that in my car. It stopped working. Um, I ended up selling the pods because I couldn't use them. Um, but yeah, so I've given up on that. So I started digging into my scent packs. I had one sugar cookie scent pack and I had purchased this because I was going to make pods out of it because the Scentsy pods were not available in sugar cookie and sugar cookie is one of my all time favorite fragrances. So I figure I'll just throw the scent pack in my car. It was scentless, 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 scentless. So I've moved it um, to, it's actually hanging off of my turn signal so that it's like right in front of my face. And now I'm getting the odd whiff of it randomly. Um, so I'll leave it in there. But the problem is when it was unscented, I thought, okay, I'll try something else. So I grabbed a Shimmer Car Bar out of my collection. I grabbed a couple of these this summer in a clearance sale. Cause again, I would never pay full price for this stuff. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bash Scentsy, but this stuff is just overpriced for what I'm getting. I swear the car bars are not as strong or as long lasting as they used to be. But anyway, these were a good price. So I grabbed a couple, threw this one in my car and I was like, okay, cool. I can smell this. And then, <laughs> I don't know, a few days, a week later, all of a sudden, then I could smell the sugar cookie scent pack. So now I have both of these in my car. I mean, it's fine. They go pretty well together because Shimmer, Shimmer is a sweet, fruity, girly scent. So adding sugar cookie to that isn't a bad thing. Like it's actually a pretty cool combo, but I wouldn't have chosen, I wouldn't have chosen to do it that way, especially because now I've got a scent pack and a car, par car bar in there and that's expensive. So I don't know, at this point I'm like, whatever, I'm committed, they're out of the package. So I'll just use them. I just wanted to mention that. Um, so you'll probably see those in my next empties because they're pretty much done. And all that I have left here is bars. So let's dive in. I'm going to try to make this not look crazy like I usually do. <laughs> you guys know not to hold your breath with me because the more I try to make things look cute, the worse they look. Okay. Up first, I finally finished the new release of Blue Sage and Tonka. This is a, it's an interesting blend. It's like a sexy dude with vanilla. That's what it smells like. I like it. I really, really like it. Um, but I just don't get enough from it. Even when warming, it was like super, super, super light. Um, at one point I had like three cubes in a warmer. At another point I had four. Anyway, um, I did mix this at one point with Cozy Cardigan, but I think that empty was in my last video. Good combo. Um, this just isn't strong enough. It's, it's unfortunate because it's a really pretty fragrance and it's the kind of scent that you would think would be super strong. So it's kind of odd that it's not. <laughs> um, Johnny Appleseed, 
this bad boy was so freaking juicy this is my to date my favorite scentsy apple fragrance i also really like apple crush but it's it was just too light this is just a juicy red apple it is just oh so good i went through a couple bars of that so far this fall because i was mixing with my beloved autumn road trip you guys have heard me talk about this before this to me is very similar to bath and body works autumn which is my all-time favorite fall fragrance but this this does have apple in it but it's lighter on the apple note than autumn from bbw so i mix this with johnny appleseed and it's heavenly you guys heard me talk about this recently you also heard me talk about it last year one of the best mixes i've ever done this is just fresh air trees and a little bit of apple it's just it's like all of my favorite things i do enjoy woodsy i love fresh and i love fruity so i really hope autumn road trip continues to come back in the catalog i actually just put the last three cubes of this in my bedroom you guys know how i feel about atlantic air <laughs> um this scent is just, it is one of my all-time faves. It's fresh, it's airy, it's clean. Technically, I think it would be considered a floral, but to me, when I smell this, it just smells like fresh air, which, yes, fresh air smells like nothing, right? But, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So, so good. Not available right now. I'm hoping it'll come back in the spring, summer. It's in my club, obviously. Um... But if it does come back and you haven't tried it, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Salted Caramel Cupcake. I believe this is coming back in the next Bring Back My Bar. So I felt comfortable warming my last bar um, in my collection. This is one that I loved earlier on in my Scentsy days. It is very much salted caramel with cupcake. There's definitely, like on cold, you mostly get salted caramel. But when warming, I get like a vanilla cupcake note in the background. This, okay, here's how I'm going to describe this. This, in my opinion, is happy birthday with salted caramel. So if that sounds good to you, give it a try when it comes back. I actually really love that one. Um, but like I said, that's my last one. So I probably will get some more when they return. And the week leading up to halloween i finally warmed my bar of halloween town from i got this in a whiff box last year this is not a scent that i would typically gravitate towards because it is it's there's definitely cinnamon it's a little spicy i almost get like an apple wood with spice but i don't know what it is it's it's just really well balanced i actually really really enjoy this and i will tell you holy performer super strong and it wouldn't die this is one of those scents where it was like a week later and I was like you know what I, I gotta do it I gotta I gotta switch it up like I like it you know how scents sort of change over time and by by the time you're at a week it definitely doesn't smell it's I could still smell it it was still strong but the scent itself was different than when I started warming it and I didn't like it as much and I was just bored of it at that point I was just getting sick of it so I took it out because for Halloween, I had saved a bar of ghostly greetings from last year. This was a, a scent of the month last fall. I don't know the month, I'm sorry. Um, I tried it, I liked it, so I ordered another bar so that I would have it to save it for this Halloween. I'm actually just finishing this up right now in my living room. This is just such a cool, interesting scent. Not cool, literally cool as in like, it's good. It's a very, it has patchouli in it. I don't love patchouli, but it's just really, again, a well-rounded and well-balanced fragrance in my opinion. So the patchouli isn't too much. So if you don't like patchouli, I, I can't say that you're gonna love this scent. Um, but I, I do. It's just a very like warm, cozy fall scent, but it's different. It's not like all the other spicy pumpkin scents. And I think that's why I really like it. I just love this vibe for Halloween. So I used it and I'm still using it.
and then I will move on. <laughs> um, this isn't available anymore. I don't have any more backups. That's kind of sad, but if it ever came back, I probably would repurchase just to have like one bar in the fall. And that, my friends, is that. That is part two. I'm going to move you so you can see everything. That's it. That is what I finished the second half of October 2021. Other than obviously those, the, the car bar and the scent pack, which are still going and the things that are sort of things like the ghostly greetings that I'm still warming, but uh, those are my empties anyways. You'll probably hear a bit more of a review on the car stuff in November. I don't know if I remember, I suppose. <laughs> um, it'll all depend. My memory is not the, the greatest, but I will link in the description box below part one of my October empties, as I said. What do you guys think? Have you used any of this? What do you like? What don't you like? What are you warming? What is your favorite home fragrance stuff these days? I love to know. I love chatting with you guys. So please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you don't want to miss any upcoming content. All right, guys, thanks again. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye, y'all.